Tina Mukahi, thank you for joining us. You are the acting head of the Youth Department in Council of Europe. And now here uh, with us uh, to explain what is Living Library, how the idea came up, what's this project? Well, the Living Library is a concept which has existed for nearly 20 years. It was created by a Danish youth organization and picked up by the Youth Department of the Council of Europe because it's a very interesting concept in uh, showing people uh, how to face up to their prejudices. In a nutshell, a living library is like an ordinary library. Instead of paper books, you have real life people who are the books. And the people we usually use are people who are usually victims of prejudices and stigmatization of, uh, about who they are and where they come from. For example, a person who's of LGBT uh, tendency or Roma people, these are people who are very often stigmatized in their daily life. And we would use these people as books to meet the general public so that the general public can perhaps face up to their prejudices and maybe even change their minds about what they think. And during the plenary session you are cooperating with Parliamentary Assembly and so it's also uh, the project of Living Library, so how it works? We're doing this joint project with the Parliamentary Assembly because in the context of one of the debates on countering uh, manifestations of neo-Nazism, we're bringing together some live books who are either victims of hate speech, because we're also uh, promoting our no hate speech campaign, and we're bringing together real live books who have been perpetrators of neo-Nazism in the past and who have now uh, dropped out of this uh, neo-Nazi organizations and who are working in exit programs for young people to help them come out. So we're bringing together a lot of uh, people who are involved either in uh, uh, hate speech because they're victims and we want to raise awareness of the parliamentarians to these problems and they'll be able to have face-to-face -face interviews with these books, meet them in uh, nice circumstances and discuss the real problems that these people are facing with. And this should hopefully give them a better understanding of what neo-Nazism is and the difficulties encountered by young people today when they're faced with these questions. Thank you for joining us.